Seeing a titan the size of legendary Ghidorah frozen in ice was an image that I'll never forget. Though surprisingly, I never heard anyone ask why it was there in the first place. Was it just a battlefield location to square off with Godzilla, or was there something near there that Ghidorah was looking for? What if I told you that there were people within Monarch that believed that Ghidorah was in the area to find a Hollow Earth entrance? If this is the case, it not only gives a stronger connection between King of the Monsters and Kong of Skull Island and Godzilla vs. Kong, but it may also reveal Ghidorah's ultimate plan on Earth, and if not stopped by Godzilla, it could have become so powerful that even Godzilla in his burning form may not have been able to stop it. Michael Doherty, the director of King of the Monsters, was asked on Twitter how Ghidorah got trapped in the ice. His reply was that Ghidorah and Godzilla fought for the crown in ancient Antarctica. Godzilla won. By saying that they fought for the crown, I'm sure that he means alpha status. But now it appears that Ghidorah may have been here for a bigger prize. In the Godzilla vs. Kong novelization by Greg Keyes, there is an important conversation between Eileen and Nathan that is absent from the film. This is where they found Monster Zero, Eileen said. Near here, said Nathan. In fact, I didn't even know about Ghidorah back in the day. That was above my security classification. I thought Outpost 32 was all about that. He nodded at the opening below them. It seems like more than a coincidence that Ghidorah would be frozen in ice so near the entrance to the Hollow Earth. Nathan nodded. Lots of theories there. Was Ghidorah going into the vortex or had it just come out of it? Or neither. The ice all around here is more than 30 million years old. The ice around Ghidorah was younger, based on samples they took when they found it. And the structure of the ice is different. It clearly melted quickly and refroze quickly. How did that happen? There isn't enough evidence to land on a good explanation. A bit later, Eileen asks, Why didn't you use this opening, referring to Antarctica over Skull Islands? Nathan replies, Bigger is less stable. So there's quite a bit to unpack here from this conversation. First off, I do believe that Ghidorah really was looking for that Hollow Earth entrance and we know that there's an energy source down there that dwarfs anything mankind is capable of creating. We also know that one of Ghidorah's abilities is that it can absorb energy. We see this when it taps into the power grid for a boost, and when it siphons off the life force of Mothra and Godzilla as he's entering his burning stage. When Apex tries to fire up Mecha Godzilla using their advanced tech and near limitless budget, they could only run Mecha G for mere moments. But when they're able to copy the Hollow Earth energy, Mechagodzilla was able to run at full power, rampaging against Godzilla and Kong without needing a charge. Just imagine what could happen if Ghidorah got a hold of that power. It could even be enough to push it to another level, perhaps changing it into something like Grand King Ghidorah, or maybe even a legendary take on Des Ghidorah or Kaiser Ghidorah. In the King of the Monsters novel, also by Greg Keyes, it's said that Ghidorah absorbed radiation from the Isla de Mara volcano to provide the nourishment necessary to regenerate its ever head. So I wouldn't rule out a level up or mutation from the possibly infinitely stronger Titan power source. Nathan did say that Ghidorah may have already accessed the Hollow Earth and was leaving when confronted by Godzilla, but if it did get in, I don't believe that it got to the source. If it did, it could be unstoppable. But who knows, maybe it did get inside, only to be pushed back by a group of Kong's ancestors. I'd say that the most logical assumption to make here is that Godzilla was able to see Ghidorah heading for the entrance and stopped him in the process. After all, in GBK and in the prequel comic Dominion, we see that he's able to sense the movements of all the other titans on Earth, so he should easily see something the size of Ghidorah on the move. This idea to me makes more sense than Ghidorah coming to Earth simply to beat Godzilla and become the Earth's Alpha Titan. It's always been known to be this alien monster that destroys worlds, and the Hollow Earth energy theory works for that, where Ghidorah is able to sense out massive power sources through the vastness of space, and then seek them out for his own, leaving dead planets in his wake. They even note that Godzilla's energy signature is similar to the Hollow Earth power, making the planet even more enticing to Ghidorah and giving yet another reason why the three-headed monster and Godzilla would forever be linked. Surprisingly, even after its death, Ghidorah was eventually able to tap into the energy of the Hollow Earth. 
although it was in the form of a ghost or lingering DNA in the driver's seat of Mechagodzilla. As for the ice melting and refreezing around the three-headed titan, many fans think that it could be caused by Scylla, the titan who slowed the ice melt in Antarctica, stabilizing sea levels after the events of King of the Monsters. What are your thoughts on Ghidorah absorbing the power thought to be the source of the titans? Would you want to see Grand King, Des Ghidorah, or even the Kaiser in the Monsterverse? Let's discuss down in the comments. And as always, your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions go a long way towards helping the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.